Today I'm going to demonstrate how I trim wine goblets with tall stems. And one of the trickiest things about something tall like this is that they're fairly easy to tip over. So the thing we're looking at here, see if that's centered up pretty well. There. First thing I'm going to look at is that I've made a trimming tool that has a special shape to it. And this shape has the ability to cut a variety of curves that'll match the goblet. So watch how I do this. I'm going to hold this down really firmly. And this has really gotten too dry to trim under normal circumstances. You'd have a hard time with this. But the Giffen Grip holds it with ease. It doesn't slip at all if I keep downward pressure. And I'm able to quickly carve away. Notice it isn't too dusty either. I'm just finishing the shape. And I'm actually using the follower method, but I'm also feeling with that same hand at the same time the high spot so I know how, how hard to push in different spots and I can feel it change I'm gradually making it uniform and I, this is the soft final cut and I've just cut the bulk of the shape so now this tool can be turned this way and I'm going to come down the stem and I'm going to follow the stem down and I'll make several cuts so I don't try to cut too much at one time and this downward cut then allows me to make the transition here smooth. So here's the beginnings of the transition. Now once I've got that transition smooth in this direction, now what I'll do is come back to here and get rid of that last little bit of, of a bump right in there and I can feel it. You can even see it I suppose. But this little bit of cutting right here finishes it out. And when I like it, almost there. Here's an interesting side note. When you have pots that have gotten a little too dry with the kind of clay I'm working with, which is Helmer porcelain, all I do is I take a sponge and go over the surface, and this knocks the dust off while it's still green, and then quickly grab a terry cloth towel, I'm taking care not to foul in the Giffen grip, but this polishes it right up to the same level as if I were burnishing it. Burnishing doesn't work very well on dry clay, but polishing with a dampened sponge and then a terry cloth towel produces a sheen that's the equal and doesn't have any dust on it at all. So now this is completely flawless. If you look at it, what I did is I completed the shape and the transition because these are made as two-part items. They're thrown separately, which makes it very easy to be accurate.